hello everyone uh, this video tutorial is about how to do a supervised classification or prepare a land use land cover map using google earth engine uh, so uh, to uh, do in a google earth engine first you have to create a id so let us do it suppose i am doing a supervised classification for this area first i have to create bounds and uh, highlight the study area uh, let us do it sorry for a minute suppose this much uh, in this much area i have to do supervised classification let us uh, name this as region of interest okay now i have uh, uh, i have uh, written the code here for supervised classification one by one i will explain these steps first i just copy this yes now i have created a variable land set 8 in land set 8 i have equated with this uh this code uh, actually this is of land set uh, it is a land set image code uh, in my previous one of my previous video i have explained how to highlight a study area uh, and uh, import a land set 8 image so i will just give the link below in my this video uh, I, the filter bounds is to create a uh, bounds or in the region of interest filter date is the date from uh, between which two dates i have to do uh, i have to use a satellite imagery and this uh, filter metadata is to filter the cloud cover uh, so this this code uh, i have used bands 543 to uh, show the false color composite similarly you can use uh, band 432 but you have, to, you have to use combination of three if you will not use then it will show a uh, error um, you can use 432 in land set 8432 means true color composite and find 543 is false color composite so vegetation will be highlighted in red color and water will be in dark color uh, probably black let us run the code you can stretch the values see Uh, this is showing water body and this red color is uh, forest area or vegetation area and this uh, light red color maybe it will be a uh, probably agriculture land okay let us uh, do the supervised classification in of this satellite imagery first you need to create the training points uh, let us training point means marking the points like uh, we, uh, we do a uh, we uh, uh, in if we do a supervised classification in our das imagine or arc gis we generally derive spectral signatures similarly we mark the points for here also let us mark these points add a marker new layer uh, for let us for mark for uh, water this will be the water body go to settings and just write it as water feature collection use the property uh, you have to name the property so that when you uh, I will explain later what is the use of this okay write the value as uh, so uh, you can write it a value 0 okay now create the another training point 
for let's say for uh, forest let us first see uh, where is the forest you can uh, also view is in a satellite imagery let us see first where is the forest area one minute so this is the forest area dark patch color uh, showing in this color is the forest area you can mark it as forest area now all this forest I think 10 points are sufficient but I will prefer that uh, if you are uh, generating 10 points just scatter in the whole the image not just like that you have to just scatter in the image okay now go to settings and just write as forest okay now let us uh, create another marker point for non forest uh, we can create uh, more points also but I, uh, for the sake of video I will just for the simplicity and sake uh, for the video I will just uh, do simple supervised classification only this is non forest actually this is agriculture land but I will just mark it as non forest This is the river bed, agriculture land, marking as non forest. Okay, this I think sufficient points, non forest. I'll see two. Sorry. Let us generate the training points. See, uh, I've created water. You have to see, uh, water, forest, and non-forest. If you create, for example, urban uh, water, forest, and urban, you will not write it as an non-forest. You will just write it as an urban, and also rename this as urban. And check the spellings and uh, whether the letter is capital or small because uh, it matters a lot. If you will uh, just create a error, for example, writing a capital letter as a small letter, then it will uh, then the error will be there. Okay. Now generate the training data. Okay. Uh, now uh, when uh, the create uh, you have I have created the variable land set eight similarly just in map add layer also I have uh, written as a ma uh, land set eight in training data also I have written as land set eight so you must keep it in mind which variable you are creating and uh, naming and just uh, for example you have uh, named the variable x or y you will write it as a x or and y. You have to keep things in mind, and this uh, this is the uh, use of uh, uh, I have see I have write it as properties LC, so that's why I have written it as LC. Yeah, this is the use, and scale is thirty means the special resolution of this landsat eight is thirty. Uh, oh, you have to create a classifier. Uh, uh, I have used the classifier as small uh, smile card. You can use from uh, sorry and docs. You can use from. There are various commands. Uh, for example, export is there. Classifiers are there. 
you can use from here After creating the classifier, uh, I have to uh, write this command var classifier is equal to classifier.train features. I have to write at is the training data. This variable I have to write here class properties as lc and input the properties and input the bands. These are the bands. just you have to create the variable classified image to classify this classifier after that just you have to use this command map dot add layer to classify this image see a uh, I've uh, used. Uh, I have created a classified image variable. Now, write it as classified image. And minimum is zero means I have uh, used the zero for water, one for forest, and two for non-forest. Palette as black. Uh, for example, uh, zero is for water, so I I can also write it as blue color. So that blue color is shown. One is for green. That is forest. And two is for non-forest that is yellow classified image okay now let us run this file hmm. this is this uh, supervised classification if there is some error you just create the points where is the error for example this is a for example uh, this portion of yellow is showing as non forest for example in reality it is a water then just mark it as a uh, water uh, there is green point just mark it as a uh, marker point as green then it will shown as it will be shown as water so uh, you can just crack this image by doing the ground truthing and uh, you can just uh, export this image also in the ArcGIS or uh, sorry you can just export this image in the drive uh, so that you can uh, visualize in ArcGIS or uh, remote sensing softwares uh, and you can also uh, record it in the Erdas Imagine software by exporting it. Let us export this file this is the command for export this command is given in this also docs export export image here I have uh, write it I have written from here image is classified image this image and folder is GEE uh, actually if you do not have a folder GEE then it will be automatically created in your drive and scale is 30 to so, uh, show the special resolution maximum pixels means that uh, 1 E14 means that 10 raised to the power 14 there uh, will be the maximum pixels you have to uh, write this command also this command is compulsory if you will not write then uh, your map will not be generated properly let us run go to tasks just run it you can name the file whatever for example i will uh, write it as supervised run. sorry i think i will uh, just uh, create the maximum pixels as 10 to power 13 because it will be 
I think the because of because error is there. So let us run it again. Supervised. Now it is running. Then automatically, uh, I have this folder GEE. Automatically, file will be created here. It will take some time. Actually, Google Earth Engine takes a time for exporting the data. Thank you all for watching this video.